Taurus, what's good? Uh, today I'm gonna do a Mercury retrograde bonus reading for you. I'm gonna do a you versus them. I'm gonna take a look at you. I'm gonna take a look at them. I'm gonna look at both of your energies, how you both feel, how you perceive each other, and the action that you both plan on taking, okay? Free shuffles for Taurus, universe, spirits, and guides. What can you tell me about Taurus? What can you tell me about Taurus and their person? Last shuffle, universe, spirits, and guides. What can you tell me about Taurus and their person? Your overall energy for the Mercury retrograde is the page of wands here. You could be wanting to send a message or be wanting to put your energy towards something, whether it's with this person or whether it's with something else entirely. Your person's overall energy is the eight of wands. This person wants communication. Mind you, the roles can be reversed, so just take it how it resonates. How you're feeling for this Mercury retrograde uh, when it comes to this is the ten of cups. Fulfillment, happiness. How you view them is the fool in reverse. Immature, reckless. The action that you plan on taking is the four of cups in reverse. This is accepting something, this is having clarity. Your person, how they're gonna be feeling this Mercury retrograde in terms to the situation is the four of swords. This person may feel like it's been a long journey. They may feel like they need to sit back. They may be in some type of pain. They may feel the need to heal themselves. How they perceive you is the nine of swords, overthinking, overanalyzing. The um, action that they plan on taking is the strength in reverse. They may be having some type of self-doubt here, okay? So. Let's take a look at this Page of Wands here for your overall energy. Why is the Page of Wands here for Taurus? Universe, Spirits, and Guides, why is the Page of Wands here for Taurus? place right now with the page of wands clarified by the knight of cups in reverse and the eight of coins I feel like you do want to send someone a message or you may want them to send you a message but I think that you feel as though somebody may be a little emotionally unavailable or emotionally unstable or somebody may try to kind of woo you right kind of woo you emotionally kind of get over on you emotionally um, I feel like you're going to try to focus on yourself in that regard here um for your post for your person's overall energy with have the eight of wands why is the eight of wands here for taurus's person give me one more card for the eight of wands so for this person's energy um we have the Eight of Wands clarified by the Hierophant in reverse and the Three of Swords. I feel like somebody wants to communicate um, something. I feel like somebody wants to get their point across or somebody doesn't have all of the facts when it comes to possibly a third party situation or just something to do with this heartbreak or this breakup between the both of you, okay? But this here, I'm not really sure about this energy here on your side if this is you, okay, because this could very well be them, whatever the case may be. But I'm not really sure how I feel about this energy because this is like a vain, like, kind of a, can be emotionally manipulative. So I don't know if that's you or not, or this could just be you unsure if you want to take, uh, you know, um, 
offer love to this person or just work on yourself. You know, I feel like you're gonna be very focused on your finances, whatever the case. I don't feel like you're necessarily gonna try to be focused on this, but we'll obviously have to see the rest of the reading. So let's see in your feelings. Why is the 10 of cups here for Taurus? It almost feels like this person feels like you don't have all the facts in the situation. They want to communicate something like they feel like you don't have all the facts is what I'm feeling. Why is the Ten of Cups here for Taurus's feelings? Why is the Ten of Cups here for Taurus's feelings? Last shuffle. Mm, so we have the Ten of Cups clarified by the Lovers and the King of Swords. Taurus, I feel like your person may may come around. Um, this could be a completely different situation, but I feel like your person may come around and um, may give you love, okay? Or offer you something, or just their general presence could make you feel happy. Or this could be somebody completely different. But it could be mind games with this King of Swords in reverse here, okay? I feel like this third party could possibly exist. Um, this person may come in and say, I choose you, okay, if there is a third party. Um, but I would be careful here because somebody may be playing mind games. If that's you, <laughs> Taurus, don't be playing no mind games with nobody, all right? Um, how you view this person is the fool. Why is the fool here? Give me one more card for how Taurus perceives this person. How you perceive this person, at least for Mercury Retrograde, is the Fool in Reverse, the Page of Coins, and the Four of Cups. It's almost like you view this person as just doing whatever they want to do because it's in the moment or breadcrumbing people or whatever because they're bored. You feel like this person may be bored with life or you may feel like, you know, they're just breadcrumbing, they're just reckless because they don't know what else what else to do, okay? Um, I almost feel like, I keep wanting, wanting to go back to this energy for some reason and this energy that it says that you're in with this page of wands clarified by the Knight of Cups and the Eight of Coins. This is almost like aftermath after somebody comes towards you. Because the thing is, Taurus, is that this person's energy from Mercury Retrograde is communication, wanting to come in and... Um, communicate about some type of, they feel like you don't have all the facts. They feel like you think that you know something that you actually really don't about whatever situation this is. And I feel like this is their energy in a way where it's like you receive this message, right? But it's like, it may be a little manipulative, but I don't know if you know that, but you may but in your feelings here is the Ten of Cups. So it's like, it does bring you happiness. But you also have the Eight of Coins in your energy, which I believe is you possibly working on yourself. If not, then this is this person saying, oh, you know, I wanna work on this, whoop de whoop whoop whoop. But they keep showing up as a page here. Okay, and the King of Swords, which I believe to be your person. All right. Um, the action you plan on taking is the Four of Cups in reverse. Why is the Four of Cups in reverse here? Yeah, um, so how it, how it looks to me, Taurus, we have the Four of Cups in reverse, clarified by the Ace of Coins in reverse with the Ten of Wands. So, 
you get to this point at some point where you're kind of accepting that you feel like this is just a missed opportunity. Now, I don't know what happens in between this that makes you feel like this, but it could be something to do with how this person approaches you with this Knight of Cups in reverse and the King of Swords. I feel like you eventually catch on that this person may be playing games. I don't know if they are. Cross watchers, don't attack me. I, I'm just, you know, rel relaying the message. Um, but I feel like you feel like this is just a missed opportunity. You've kind of come, you have kind of come to terms with the fact that this is just not going to work and it's, it's too exhausting. It's too much, like it's too much on your plate. And, um, at least in the way that you perceive them and the way that you approach them comes off as a very immature energy. So the fool in reverse clarified by the page of coins and then the page of wands here with the knight of cups in reverse and the king of swords in reverse. So I feel like initially it may bring you happiness, but I feel like as time goes on or whatever the case may be, I feel like you, you feel as though this person is just doing something to bite their time. You know, like it's almost like you view them as having nothing else to do. I think you get bored of this situation. Sorry, there's tape on here. I feel like you eventually may get bored of the situation. It doesn't mean that they're manipulating you, but, um, you know, this is at least how you're perceiving it and the way that I'm seeing things here. So I don't know, maybe this is you doing this. I have no idea. So, all right, this is gonna drive me insane. All right, whatever. All right, I'm just have to deal with it. Why is the four of swords here for Taurus's person's feelings? Universe, spirits, and guides, why is the four of swords here, please? One more shuffle. So the, for this person's feelings, we have the Four of Swords, we have the Five of Coins in Reverse, and the Ace of Cups. What this looks like to me based on the rest of the reading, it's like this person kind of says, I don't want to fight anymore. This person doesn't want to fight anymore. They, with the Five of Coins in Reverse here, um, they're trying to heal. Um, they feel like they're trying to heal this. They really genuinely don't want to fight with you anymore. And I feel like they may want a new beginning with you, okay? They may want a new beginning with you here. Um, I feel like there's a lot of attraction, you know, coming from this person. I feel like this person is very attracted to you. I feel like you're very attracted to this person and um, you have a lot of love for them as well, okay? And I do believe that it's mutual. This is somebody that kind of wants to let bygones be bygones, not focus on the past anymore. You know, they feel like you have the wrong idea about them and I feel like they're going to express that to you. But how they view you is the Nine of Swords. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Why is the Nine of Swords for how Taurus, for how Taurus's person views them? Why is the Nine of Swords here for how Taurus's person views them? Okay, two extra ones wanted to come out, wow. We have the Nine of Swords, we have the Two of Cups, the Nine of Coins, and the Magician in Reverse. It's almost like this person views you as somebody overthinking on how to approach this. Overthinking on how to deal with them, kind of. Um, I feel like they know that you feel a soulmate connection. And they feel it too with this Two of Cups here and this Ace of Cups here. I mean an ace and then the two of cups, the ten of cups over here. They know it. They know it. Um, but they feel like you want to focus on your money. You want to focus on your independence. They feel like you don't trust them. They do. They feel like you do not trust them at all. They feel like you think that they're manipulative, that you think um, they're a trickster, like you just do not trust them and you're overanalyzing this. It's like on one hand you're like, they're thinking, they're looking at you like you're in your head about it. And you're like, I really love this person. I really love this person, but I want to work on my finances. I got to do what I got to do because I feel like this person is manipulative. Because in your energy here, 
your energy here is the Knight of Cups in reverse, which I feel like represents them, or at least how you feel about them, or like they're in your energy, right? Like they're affecting your energy. And right next to that, we have the Eight of Coins. So it's like you're very about your money, or you're very focused on a business, or a new talent that you're, you know, that you have, or whatever the case may be, okay? A new skill, whatever. And um, they feel like you're just too in your head about it, right? The action that your person plans on taking is the Strength card in reverse. Why is the Strength in reverse here for Taurus this person? Give me one more card for the strength in reverse. Mm. Strength in reverse again at the bottom of the deck. Um, we have the strength of reverse at the bottom of the deck, right? And the strength of reverse and the action that they plan on taking. Clarifying that is the temperance and the eight of cups. This person wants this, um, I feel like, with this temperance being here. And I feel like they try to be patient. I feel like there's something that happens here where you don't, you, they feel like you just don't trust them. And that shows up in, you know, their perception of you. Maybe you don't have a reason to trust them. Maybe they don't have a reason to trust you. I really don't know your situation, okay? Um, but in both of your guys' action, I feel like there's something that happens here where you're just like, nah, this isn't gonna work. This is what this looks like to me. You're like, no, this isn't gonna work. It's all good, you know, it happens. This is just too much for me. I feel like this person doubts themselves, you know. Um, and that's not, this isn't a good feeling, okay? Um, but it's like they still want this, but they feel like they have to walk away. Because they feel like, you know, you don't, you don't really trust them. Um, yeah, so, anyway, I feel like they didn't want balance in the situation, but I feel like they're gonna, and now this is, you know, energies can always change, but it's like they feel the only way to bring balance into the situation is to walk away, you know, and um, I think it is in response to you, because I feel like you don't really trust them. I mean, how you view them is terrible. <laughs> okay, um, you do love them though. You absolutely do. With this Ten of Cups and this Lovers, and this Two of Cups here, and the Ace of Cups, this is a this is a, a deep soulmate here, okay? Um, but yeah. <laughs> Can I get some advice messages for Taurus and their person? Can I get some advice messages for Taurus and their person? Sorry if y'all hear my cat. So we have the Five of Swords, the Queen of Cups, and the Page of Wands in reverse. Your advice for this to me is understand that, damn, this is kind of sad, Taurus. Understand that Somebody may feel like they want to win, or somebody feels like they've lost, or somebody feels like they can't express themselves. But in between that, there is a lot of love here, and that's the saddest part about it. The saddest part is someone's afraid to lose, somebody wants to win, and because of that, I feel like there's a lack of, of expression here. But in between that is mutual love. The Queen of Cups is mutual love. So the saddest thing is that. Taurus, I wish that this was a more positive reading, but energies can always change. Know that I love you and I wish you the best and I will see you next time, all right? Peace out.